Hello and welcome. Today we are going to talk about the strategy pattern. The strategy pattern is all about substituting behavior later. How can this look like? We have some context, some calling context, some client which uses a specific method, but the method is not fixed at compile time, but later on. He uses this strategy interface, which just tell, tells us what is the, the interface of the method? And then there are concrete strategies which implement this. The client then can choose this, this concrete strategy at runtime and can exchange it. What is the context? We have many related classes which differ only in their behavior. The methods with complex behavior are based on many conditionals. The problem is now, how can we manage these different behaviors and simplify the architecture? We need different variants for a specific algorithm, maybe sorting, maybe searching, uh, maybe inserting in a data structure. This behavior should be exchangeable at runtime. We don't want to already decide in compile time which strategy we want to use. Also, we want to split up behavior. The solution is that we have to define an interface for the algorithms. Then we have to encapsulate these algorithms to make them interchangeable. We have to implement them in the smaller interfaces. And then we have to let the algorithm vary independently from the clients. So the client can choose which algorithm to use. So we split up the behavior and decision logic, we eliminate subclasses, we reuse the behavior. But the problem is that the communication overhead gets higher because we use an additional function pointer, an additional layer of abstraction. The other thing is, how can we access private fields of the objects? Object-oriented paradigms of information hiding is broken. The number of objects increase. If we do an object for every method, we have thousands of objects. And then, who is responsible for assembling the concrete strategies at runtime? So the strategy. It's like a plan, which some steps are inserted later on. 